And again, I'm not paying by no Volvo. <laughs> 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 but, but in my opinion, if you buy Volvo with Volvo, Volvo motor or Cummins ISX, preferably Cummins ISX, an iShift transmission, 10 years ago, I would say hell no for iShift, for mm -hmm. any automatic transmission. These days, I say Volvo in any motor configuration and iShift transmission. And that's going to be the track that's going to make you a lot of money. Assuming that you will good, take a good care of it. Yeah, because, see, that's the key word when you say assuming you're going to take good care of it. Because at the end of the day, man, you find this gem. It's still 50-50. When you're going to go buy that truck, repairs and all that are things to consider. No, but you don't know who owned it, man. You it, just... At the end of the day, if you're buying, from, buying a truck from... Uh, and I, I know a lot of people will say, hell no, owner-operator will take a better care of the, of the track and la la la. Mm -hmm. uh, an owner-operator <laughs> usually don't sell the track which you look for, because that you're looking for a running track. Fleets are uh, ignorant to the condition of the track. Fleets will say, we're selling off all the 2018s. <laughs> Boom. And some of those 2018s are going to be pretty crappy. Others will be top-notch. And we're all going to be 2018s. If I'm an owner operator and I'm, sell I I'm selling my, you know, 450,000 mile truck, man, there is something wrong with that truck because that truck has so much meat left in it. Yeah. I wouldn't be selling it. Yeah. So I say if you're buying it from a reputable source, uh, obviously you have to do the homework and you have to do a little bit of gambling. But the chances, a lot of people are afraid of like, oh man, this truck is going to fall apart, the engine going to blow up or whatever. No, man, like show me the truck that was fleet maintained that blew up at 500,000 miles. If you're going to get it half-life, 400 to 500,000 miles, and you're going to, before you even run, you're going to do a perfect maintenance on it. You're going to keep up with maintenance. You're going to yeah. go to the uh, truck repair shop at least once a month to the mechanic of your choice, who you trust. We're going to say, hey, listen, bro, just run over it, see if there is anything wrong there. Maybe, you know, pay attention. Don't don't be spending money on that Mercedes before you spend money on your truck. Man, you're going to be golden. You're yeah. going to be in a good, good shape 99.9% .9 of the time. Right. And if you do that. And you have to do that. And then that's the thing. So, yes. and again, it just like you said, when they come off of those fleets, then that's the second tier of it, right? Those guys who bought those trucks, some were crappy, some were good. That's the two different experiences. That's the truck, the truck talk. You know, you had a great experience with Volvo. Somebody didn't, and he'll tell you, don't buy Volvo, and you'll say, buy Volvo. Absolutely, but look, I had some crappy trucks, too. At least, like, one or two of the trucks that I had was pretty crappy. And I still squeezed, at least, you know, I usually used to buy a trucks, you know, 400 to 500,000 miles. Mm -hmm. I never lost a truck under 800,000 miles. Meaning with a critical repair, such as overhaul or... Right. So if you're buying that truck 450,000 miles, you got all these, uh, another 350,000 miles, that's going to give you two years, and you still have that perfect truck to sell <laughs> for somebody who is, uh, who is a little bit more lost or who is a little bit more into projects and repairing his own equipment and so on. Yep. Maybe some local guy. That's you. Yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm pretty popular these days.